All right, guys. Uh, what you see here, this is rose hips, and uh, a rose hip is just a. Uh, it's a. Um, uh, you say you have a rose, you know, that grows in a rose bush, and then once the rose dies, at the at the bottom of where the where the rose attached to the bush you have one of these little tiny things and uh, I guess what I'm getting out of all this is uh, I'll give you a little better picture here these are a bunch of rose hips I got these in the wild I think these are, the, these are called North American rose hips um, anyway uh, there's a lot of them and uh, and uh, um, these, each tiny one here, supposedly, supposedly the average size rose hip, which I think these are average size rose hips, each of them contains approximately, this is what I read, each of them contains approximately 23.3 milligrams of vitamin C. Um, you know, and, uh, You know, and um, a milligram is just a you know a measurement of weight. And excuse me, a measure <laughs> a milligram is a measurement of mass. It's like how many how many of the you know like you have an object and how many of the 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 tiny the tiny pieces that make it make up you know it. It's like how much mass is there? How many uh, the tiny things that that make up the the big thing. I'm making this into an educational one, apparently, this video. But you take one of these rose hips, and uh, it's composed of a certain number of tiny things that make up the size of what you see here. Um, and so they, they call that mass. And if you have a certain amount of mass, you get one of these. The average size contains 23.3 milligrams of vitamin C. Um, which uh, is um, not uh, not too bad because a glass of orange juice, I think the average glass of orange juice, about 12 full ounces, I think, is about 70 milligrams. And I'll stick my hand down here, okay? <laughs> I'm going to stick my hand down here. I'm going to give you a bigger view now again. Here's my hand, and here's the rose hips to, my, to, to the right of, uh, you know, right next to the hand and um, there probably are at least two or three hundred maybe more rose hips right here so you can see how tiny they are but they pa they're packed with vitamin C so if you take vitamin C tablets you might just want to consider going ahead and taking some of these things and throw it and stop buying your vitamin C tablets this is one of your sources of vitamin C uh, that you can get People who came over, you know, in the year, years ago, people would, you know, the British, the British sailor, the British sailor, who uh, came here from England or whatever, or wherever, and uh, they used to call these British sailors limies, because, uh, well, what they would do to help prevent this disease called scurvy, which is caused by lack of vitamin C. What they would do is they give, a, I think, a, a British sailor one lime per day. And I think a lime is, probably has around 30 milligrams of vitamin C. And all they really had to do is give them one or two of these a day. <laughs> all they had to do is pick a bunch of rose hips, dry them out, put them on the ship, and say, here's your vitamin C. Here's two little, here's two little these, these babies, and you have more than... than a, a lemon and probably more than a lime. A lime has about 30 milligrams of vitamin C. So these are, each of these supposedly is around 23.3 milligrams. It's quite amazing. Very, uh, one of the highest foods you can do, probably if not the highest you can get in North America. In some of the places in the Central America, I think they got some much higher stuff. They got some foods that have a lot of vitamin C, even a lot more than this per the size of the uh, um, item. 
mean, it was fun. It was fun. I just wanted to show you guys this. Uh, I'm not. I'm not buying any more vitamin C personally. This. This works very good for me. Okay. Have a good one.